Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this morning, I'm here in the US Virgin Islands and we're in the backyard of a local resident. And we're gonna check out some of the locally grown fruits and beautiful flowers she has right in her backyard. We're down in Fortuna area, which is located on the west end of the island. Down here, the soil is very rich, so if you have a green thumb, this is the best place to live. And if you're ever visiting the Virgin Islands and you want to try out some of our locally grown fruits, we always have street vendors on the side of the roads with their little tables selling their locally grown fruits. So comment below and let me know if you ever visit the Virgin Islands and what is your favorite fruit. So let's get into this. We have the aloe plant. You can blend it with um, orange juice. You can also put it on your skin as well. You could put it on like infections, boils. It helps to soften up the area and helps to um, heal. Also helps for healing scars as well and cuts. So this is also, I think they use this for burn victims, right? Aloe, they, they make um, like a special gel to put it on burns. You can also put it in your hair as well. So there you go guys, the aloe plant. We also have some tea bush. What kind of tea? This one is lemongrass. Oh, we have lemongrass. And this one is basm. And then we have the basm. So you have three. Is it three or is it no, just two? two? We got two types of um, tea bush. Lemongrass. And the basm. And what's lemongrass good for? It's good for fever. Like fever? Fever grass. Fever grass as well, a.k.a. fever grass. And then basm, you said? What's this yeah. good for? It's just to make the tea. Just to make tea. No yeah. special... Um... No. Okay. This is the moringa tree, guys. I don't know if you want to go over there by the thing and you see... You want me to fall? No, you have to go that far. All right. We see these long little pods on here. It looks like bean sprouts, actually. Yeah. The little pods on the tree. You can actually eat the seeds out of these little pods raw. They um, cleanse the body. It's good for people that's diabetic and um, people that have high blood pressure. So there you go, guys. What tree? What is this called again? Huh? What is this called again? The moringa tree. The miracle tree. It's pretty tall. Okay, so right now. We don't have any sugar apple trees that's that, that made it through the storm, the hurricanes. But this is like a little small one here that's growing back. And the sugar apple tree is year round. It bears year round. And maybe I'll find a picture on the internet to show you what a sugar apple looks like. But this is um, a Caribbean apple called the sugar apple. And this is a small tree that's growing back. All the trees that she had was destroyed by the hurricanes. Well, we need to go up. This is a papaya tree. And it, how, how often does it bear? All year. All year round. Oh, this is a cherry tree. We're going to get close to... We only have one on the tree right now. And how often does um the cherries bear on this tree? Twice a year. Twice a year, guys. Okay, so we have another tree here. What kind of tree is this? This is the sour sap tree. Let me see if I can zoom in on a sour sap. Oh, there we go. We have a sour sap right here. And how often does this bear? All year round. All year round. The sour sap. Let's check it out. It's pretty big. You got a big one already? A picture one is like a bigger one. Oh, there's one right here too. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have another tree here. This is... A, what is it called? Julie mangoes. The Julie mangoes. And how often? It they, bears all year. All year round? 
But you pick them in July. Okay. August. They'll be ready around July, August time. This is a mango tree. They call it the grafted mango tree as well. Julie mango. Okay. So we have some banana trees, locally grown banana trees, just right near yard. Right now these are green. These bear year round. get some more shots there's plenty of them do you ever cut any of them down okay so interesting fact guys um, this is um, a locally grown banana tree and my mom is telling me that after it bears one set of banana right. the tree has to be cut down so right now she's telling me as we can see that this right here this one is ready these bananas are full, so she needs to, um, you know, cut it down. Right. And then, after cutting it down, a new, um, a new sprout, sprout of, uh -huh. um, of the tree is going to um, regrow. That's interesting. Oh, look, we have some little sprouts right here as well. So also, I, I think I saw some little new, the little sprouts of right here as well. See, they come on the side by the tree itself. They actually sprout out from the tree. Okay, the last thing now is the tree. Have some more bananas here as yeah. well. Maya, flip this. She has plenty of banana trees in her yard. Also, this is another mango tree right here too. This one got destroyed from the hurricane. And it's green growing. Right now, it has a little sprouts on there. It's sprouting up, it's, it's recovering from the hurricane. This is post-Hurricane Maria. And what's the other hurricane name? Maria and Irma? Post-Hurricane Maria and Irma, a mango tree that was destroyed. So these are um, guava berry trees right here. And how often do these um they bear once a year? Between September, they have to make the drink for December. Between September and December, you can make the guava berry tart, you can make the guava berry drink. Right now we don't have any guava berries on the tree. So this is a hibiscus tree, guys. Well, it doesn't bear any fruit, but it's a really beautiful flower let's zoom in on this this looks like um what color is this like a pink a peach so there are different colors of hibiscus this one looks like a peach all right let's keep on moving i think we have two more things to look at here we have another beautiful um plant up here this is called the buttercup it produces beautiful flowers similar to the hibiscus oh we have a beautiful butterfly we have another beautiful tree here not tree but plant that produces beautiful flowers um, the butterflies seem to like that plant the flower not sure what this is called. Comment below if you know what kind of um, flowers this is. Oh, what's this one? I've seen this before. What kind of plant is this, Mommy? Mommy, this one down here. What's this one? I've seen this one before. Okay, we don't know the name of that one either. Oh, look at the beautiful butterflies. We have some more hibiscus trees right here. Look like this one has different different, color. different colors it's though. It looks like it has is there a butterfly? It looks pink, like a butterfly peach. is in that one. They got pink, peach. It looks like is that red? It looks like you have red too, yeah. And then we have another this is the OG this is the OG hibiscus right here. This, this is the one red. that we know. The red hibiscus. 
You know, people can make drinks for people. You, all could, you also can make hibiscus drink um, with these flowers. Are they using the flowers or are they using the leaves? Just the red one, you can make a drink. Oh, with the red, the red, the red hibiscus mm. flowers, you can make a drink as well. Maybe um, I'll I'll do a, a recipe one day. All right, we also have some palm trees right here. These are these these are imported. Are these yeah, imported? Yeah. Are they grown here? Yeah. Okay. All right, we have some locally grown palm trees. You don't know? You sure these ain't imported? all right and we're going to wrap up we have um some more papaya trees right here as well the last time i was here i was climbing that tree it looks like it lost some weight <laughs> and then our our final uh, yes i know the final tree we're going to take a look at is the coconut tree there's a few coconuts on here. Last time I was here, I didn't have any. It actually looked like it was like demolished from the hurricane. It didn't have any. It didn't have any leaves on it. But look how it's flor it's flourishing now. Oh, too late. Well, thank you guys for watching. That wraps up our backyard tour in St. Thomas. And whenever you're visiting locally, please try out some of our locally grown fruits. They're always vendors on the side of the road with little tables selling their locally grown fruits. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos.